but this is only one uh, one item. Uh, isa pang tanong, just in case merong uh, legal uh, ano ang SP with the executive, ano ang position ng legal officer? That is the predicament of the legal office, uh, madam, because uh, I am a legal officer of the whole provincial government. Yeah, I know. So that uh, every time there is an issue, a legal issue between the executive and the uh, legislative department, of course, uh, we are put in the middle of things. So, as I said, we are the legal. Of, I am the legal officer of the provincial government of Occidental Mindoro. Middle daw, middle. Mr. Chair. What was the question, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Uh, if that situation will occur, even if it is just hypothetical, nasaan ngayon ang leaning ng... Uh, ng uh, provincial legal office because under 7160 the SP cannot hire if there is a, a legal officer a provincial legal officer he will represent the sangkod ng palalawigan right yes ma'am so pag executive na ang ano nasaan ngayon ang leaning ng provincial legal office officer ma'am as a legal officer uh, we don't have to lean on anyone uh, in this uh, set of your honor because, as I said, uh, I am the legal officer of the provincial government, not only of the legislative uh, department, but also of the executive department. So, uh, in case there are issues between the two departments, I just have to maintain... Your independence. My independence, and of course, what I think is right under the law. Okay, so it is clear that the Sangkod ng Panlalawigan can also uh, make consultations especially when it comes to legal matters of pertaining course. to the dispensation of their duties to the provincial legal officer? Of course, madam, because that is provided under the local government code among the duties and functions of the legal officer. Even if it runs counter with, your, with the previous uh, stand of the legal officer? What do you mean, ma'am? Stand uh, of the previous... There, are, there were issues in the Sangkod and Panlalawigan that... Uh, uh, ref were referred no, for the uh, opinion of the legal officer, especially uh, when that uh, issue is related to the functions or functions of the executive. Marami na yung instances eh. and you were able to render uh, some uh, opinions, of course, basing on what are the available uh, informations. So, yun ang tanong ko lang. Ma'am, the question is, uh, can I pro provide opinion? Yeah. Even if it, it runs counter to the previous stand or the previous... Uh, stand yeah. of the legal officer? Yes. Probably so, madam, because uh, that's just an opinion. It's not conclusive. I think so, madam. Just like in the case of... Uh, the boundary dispute between uh, the Occidental and Oriental Mindoro, I rendered an opinion based on what I believe is right under the law. And uh, I do not know whether I render contrary opinion to that of the previous legal officer, Madam. Thank you very much for that uh, sincere reply. Well, then. Attorney Gas, ano? Uh, uh, those are hypothetical. Uh, as I'm again, no, I would like to mention that it is just a hypothetical question. So you answered well, and I am satisfied. Thank you. Thank you, Pa. Thank you. Well then. Okay, thank you. Uh, ako naman for the record, gusto kong pasalamatan ang ating provincial legal officer, kasi sa totoo lang. Uh, open naman ang line of communication na natin and nakakapaghingi uh, ako ng mga legal opinions regarding sa mga usapin, lalo na sa mga usapin na pumapasok sa um, uh, committee ko and very helpful naman siya and baka pwedeng hayaan na rin naman natin siya 
na magplano kung ilan ang JOs, kung ilan ang mga uh, ya hire niya. Uh, let us give him the ano, the freedom. I think sila ang mas nakakaalam kung paano niya mapapatakbo ng maayos ang kanyang opisina. And then narinig ko kanina, query lang ko attorney Gas. Talaga bang bawal na nakumuha pa ng legal counsel ang SP dahil na andiyan ka na po? Ano ba yung RA 7160 na narinig ko kanina? Kasi uh, may mga kaibigan din po akong bukal sa ibang lalawigan. According to them, talagang ang sangguniang panlalawigan nila may battery of lawyers and battery of accountants. Battery. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang po iisa. Oo. So the, the question is, kung bawal po mag-hire ng, ng lawyers ang uh, sanggunian? Parang may, may, nasa, may nasabi bang ganun kanina? Parang may narinig ako na Nasabi ni, oo, oh, oh, di bukal Sonia, sabi niya, di ba tita? Oo, oh, oh. kasi sabi niya, is the bawal na raw. legal officer. Kasi siya ang SP. represent ng all, uh, whatever na issues legally, ng uh, sanggol ang panlalawigan, and the rest. Di ba? Nasa provision yan eh. Kaya gusto ko pong tanungin, kung bawal na ba talaga kami mag-hire ng legal uh, attorneys or legal counsel ng SP dahil nahandyaan ka na? No, ang ina natin yun ano is to represent. Pag consultancy, walang problema, di ba? We can uh, hire batteries of lawyers siguro pag consultancy service. But when you represent, but sa korte siguro, pag representation na sa ano, when the legal officer is available, ibig sabihin may position na legal officer, the legal officer is the, uh, will, will represent the SP. Tama po ba yan, Attorney Gas? Uh, I think we have to made, make some uh, definition of functions. Um, as a legal officer, I am also uh, under the duty to give services to the legislative department, to the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, by way of giving legal opinion when asked to do so and uh, other services that may be asked by the Sangguniang Panlalawigan. But as to the question of uh, whether the Sangguniang Panlalawigan as a department can hire lawyers on its own, I believe so. Uh, it can hire lawyers on its own considering that the main function of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan is to make laws, to make ordinances. And uh, it is not, uh, the reality is, in the Sangonian Panlaliwigan, we only have one lawyer. And uh, it would be difficult to enact ordinances, pass resolutions, without at least a lawyer to uh, assist us in that function. So I believe uh, if the Sangonian Panlaliwigan would like to hire, for example, consultant, consultants as lawyers, they may do so. So hindi totoo yung RA 7160? Na, pro, na po prohibit na kami dahil nandiyan ka na what's the, what, what's, the, what's the particular section in uh, RA 7160 oo nga baka pwedeng maklarify lang tayo gusto ko lang Mike po Mike it's in the in section 481 number 3 uh, paragraph I. What does it say? Uh, section 481, Qualification Terms and Powers and Duties for the Legal Officer. Par, uh, number 3, In addition to the foregoing duties and function, the legal officer shall, paragraph 1, I, sorry, represent the local government in all civil actions and special proceedings where in local government unit, any official thereof, in his official capacity, is a, is a party provide, provided that all that in action or proceedings where a component or municipality is party adverse to the provincial government or to any other uh, municipality, a special legal officer may be employed to represent the adverse party. 
Yeah. Precisely, man. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Pero That's parang walang impediment uh, naman. With my... That, that's correct because uh, when uh, the party involves the local government, the provincial government, it is the legal officer who has the authority to represent uh, the provincial government in courts, government agencies, and other quasi-judicial bodies. In fact, uh, there are several uh, decisions by the Supreme Court that LGUs cannot hire private lawyers when it comes to court representation. As long as there, uh, there is a legal officer uh, in that uh, particular local government unit. But, uh, That's what I'm pointing out. Uh, y- y- yes, when it comes to legal representation in courts, yes. in it is the provision. Legal representation, yes. but the, the legislative can hire consultants yes. That's why to craft the ordinances or whatever mga legal na, ano, na gusto pa nila itanong pa, madagdagan pa yung knowledge nila. But it com- but when it comes to representation in court, it is the legal office. Binabawalan na mag-hire ng private uh, lawyer to defend, let's say, the sang- ng panalawigan ang issues yan inalagay sa court. Pag available ang PLO, provincial legal officer, ang legal officer muna. When I was mayor, we have also a case. No? And uh, pag nag-hire kami ng, ng private, it is to be paid by personal funds na mayor kasi available ang provincial prosecutor yes. and there is the provincial legal officer pa. So, dalawa yung option ng municipal LGUs para matulungan sila to be represented properly in court. Kaya bawal mag-hire kami ng private, ano eh, ng private lawyer to defend us in court. That is why I said uh, earlier, madam, there has to be a delineation. We have to make some uh, distinction between the provincial legal officer and the consultant or legal uh, consultant to be hired by the Sangguniang Panlalawigan. Because when it comes to legal representation in court, only the provincial legal officer can represent the local government unit. It is not the private lawyer. No. But uh, I think when it comes to uh, the function of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, especially in making laws or denances, they can hire a private lawyer for that particular function. Yes. At saka po, attorney, ang pinag-uusapan kanina is not really representation in the courts. Pinag-uusapan kanina, paghingi ng legal opinions. At ang nagkaroon ako ng impression na nahabang pinapakinggan ko sila na parang hindi kami pwedeng kumuha na ibang abogado dahil nahandyan ka naman sa mga legal opinions. So, yun naman ang tinatanong ko lang kung may impediment for us to do so. So, yun naman pala, ikaw, kailangan, ikaw ang mag-represent in the courts. In court. Yes. Yun lang naman po din ang gusto kong i-clarify dito. Thank you. Mr. Chair.